Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Civ 3 World War 2. Alright. Right, I have people... Oh, they're right there. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna take the ones that I woke up. And they're gonna stay over here. Though, honestly, I might be able to make this a little more efficient. Yeah, you guys just, uh, make it as far as you can. Okay, so they're all gonna try to meet up and prepare for an invasion. Italy. We made it through one of the mountains. Cool. I need to take a look over here. Okay, now that is in Russian territory, sadly. As is that. I was hoping to bomb out the roads. Keep them from getting out. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Um, well, Blackburn's first, right? Oh, right. Chiha that killed one of my Anzacs. Well, depending on how this goes, we might be able to take two, maybe three more Japanese cities this turn. I forget, didn't a Yamato show itself? Yeah, that one. I do intend to take all of those things out, just not yet. Especially not when they're so far out of my range. Excellent. Yeah, so we'll light up this city. If we move fast, we might be able to clean up most of Manchuria pretty quickly, and Korea. And then I'll be able to focus my efforts on wiping out what's left of their navy and preparing my invasion force. I'll take it maybe an episode or two, and we'll have all, the, all of these cities captured. Assuming our Lancasters don't miss every shot. I've got Valentines on the others. If anyone can take this in one turn, it's gonna be a Gurkha. Which means... I don't... Do I have any Gurkhas nearby? Oh yeah, I got them in there. So if I can wipe out the defenders of this city, they can just walk in and take it. that guy on the hill just for convenience sake. Cool. Let's just make sure we can take this one. Those guys don't have blitz and I'm not certain how many infantry are here so I have to actually take out whoever is in there. So the Axis are on the run at this point, and the Germans are still powerful, but not really. 
But let's be honest, they're really not going to win this war. They must have their men in Russia fighting with allied forces that are also moving through it. The Russians have a right of passage with the, uh, the Persians, at least. Oh! Yeah, well, we should destroy that. So I'm assuming that all of the German Panzers are fighting Allied forces right now. In the middle of Russia. At least that's what would make sense to me. I could be wrong, but it just doesn't seem normal for them to not have anyone defending Europe while I am actively taking it from them. Like their, their men would not be waiting to fight with Russia on the off chance that Russia actually attacks them while I'm in the middle of this invasion. So they must be busy somewhere. Come on. I want to at least take out that Duval before it flees or heals. Please. There we go. Okay, you guys just retreat into the nearest settlement. In case he starts bombarding. Whoop. In case he starts bombarding, I'm going to need a harbor here, so let's. No, not talk. contact the governor. Hurry that up. It does look like Yamato's are all that he's focused on right now, at least in his mainland islands. He's up to eight of them, I think it was, last time I checked. Which is pretty high. It'll be fine once we get out of Korea and Manchuria that I can actually target these things, but it's so far north that all my Lancasters really have to move. I'm just going to hit that Yamato with the rest of these Spitfires. They're probably not going to hurt it. But it can't hurt them back, so why not? like attacking a minefield with a coastal sub or a destroyer or war one destroyer the odds of you dealing any damage is just so low like every now and then you might get lucky a little bit but it's basically just never gonna happen Well, my Lancasters did more damage there than I expected. Can't reach. 
reach Okinawa. No, I can't get anywhere near here. Right, I'm sending you guys to Cagliari. Portugal, get out. Seriously, I'm so tired of them just walking around. Maybe he's just trying to make it to the other side over here. Okay, I'll leave him alone to see if he goes there. If he starts heading north, I'm kicking him. Gurkha to seize this. That is a grassland. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter for us. We still don't have the movement to take advantage of it. I'm gonna need Matilda's lining these cities. We can launch attacks on this one. I have more Valentines. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, we can do this. As long as you guys don't completely screw up, we should be able to take them all out. fight like that, then we have no hope. Our numbers are high enough that we should barrel right over them. right there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I just need to get the workers clear of the enemy. Oh yeah, you. Get out. I don't care where they're going. Cool, we got a new convenient road. Yeah, just join them. Work in Canada is basically done. I think this is the last city that can even be improved. I am not done in Japan. I still have people to move, but... I just gotta take care of all this stuff first. Stop polluting the deer, Dublin. Thank you. 
Matilda. Always handy. Oh yeah, this. Yeah, no one moves in France until I actually have a chance to use my Lancasters. Okay, so we made much better progress in Manchuria than I was prepared for. So, we're right on the border of Korea now. I don't think I can get anyone in position to attack Seoul this turn. Um, so we'll have to do that next turn. That Yamato's gonna flee, but I might be able to kill it on its way back to harbor. Gotta kill that... Chiha. And kick the Chinese out for good now. It's gonna take a little while to take the uppermost Manchurian cities, just because of how far out there they are, and they got all these forests and hills, but... I'll tell you, these the Gurkha-Lancaster combination is amazing, because those guys will just pull right over any hills, and you've already cleared the city of all its threats, so... I don't think it'll give us too much trouble. Honestly, garrisons are what I'm in, in need of now. Next in Indian city that comes online, I'm putting on British infantry. So I can have two of them down here. Because we don't take that many cities, so I, I've never really worried about garrisons. I need, you know, whatever attacking forces I can get. They can double as garrisons if needed. When you're the Axis powers, you're at war with the whole world, so you always need more garrisons because you're always taking cities. It's a little different with the Allies. You have some people that you can take, but pretty much everyone's your ally. At least all the big ones. If you're America, and you're smart, you take out South America and Central America, then you'll need some garrisons for that quite a few. But then you make it to Europe, and it's basically just Germany, and, and then Japan is over in Asia. There is Italy, but who cares about them? And you'll probably go to war with Russia. That's when everyone needs garrisons. Although if you've wiped out the Axis powers, you don't really need to garrison cities behind you, because there's no threat. Because you've wiped out the threats. Oh yeah, he's still trying to find a way in. What was that? Oh, that's a Sherman. Those are cool tanks. Those things are beasts. I've never actually seen what they look like, though. That's nuts. Oh, what am I doing? Wake them all. Pretty soon they'll be able to fly straight to Marseille. Uh, yeah, let's hit it. Once I take Marseille, I'm not going to worry about keeping Spitfires there for defensive purposes. that. Okay, all of you guys just get up in the air. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and observe. I don't really think he has much to bomb us with, but we need people in the air. I might be able to, to devote a bunch of resources to taking out that Bismarck this turn as well, because, well... We could take two Laos. But I want to kill that stupid thing while I have a chance. He's going to keep reinforcing Marseille, because it's the most important city down here. Which means the sooner we deal with it, the better. We can't do anything with it until we take Leon, so I'll make sure that we have this city first. He's rushing Panzer III H's wherever he can get them. Once we really start taking cities from him, though, it'll cut into his production big time. Watching the Soviets move won't be that bad once we take this city, because they'll only be able to move one square. Or two. I'm not giving them a rite of passage, and I'm not kicking them out, so they can just be bothered. <laughs> Romanian infantry.
That's the real problem here. You need to kill that tank. Awesome. I didn't expect three damage. Yeah, at this rate, he won't be able to produce nothing but fighters because I will be taking out so many of his ground forces. He, he's going to have to focus something on replenishing them. Italy will be a constant source of irritation. Ow! Oh, bombers and two laos, or uh, fighters and two laos. Right. All right. Well, we need to kill that. I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the Bismarck this turn. We're just gonna take out that fighter and then be on our way. We'll focus everything on two laos at that point. I don't even want to... Oh, there, there is a fortress in that Italian city. Dang it. So we're going to have to kill that. It'll probably be... It'll be either the last or second to last Italian city we take. They do have this thing as well, which is really out there. Let's just kill this stupid fighter. There's two of them. Alright, let's kill them both. I think one is a, a Type E and one is a Type F. the enemies. So Italy and Germany, not Germany, Italy will still be able to attack this city because they'll, they probably have a right of passage. Um, well, I don't know if there's a road there. If there is, then they can just cross straight through and attack. They won't have a lot of power, but if I don't have any garrisons in in there, then they, they can take it. Oh my goodness, we've been hitting nothing but citizens and buildings for like the last three bombs. Three. Thirteen bombs. And you're knocking them all down to one and not finishing them. It's not like you're hitting the Bismarck. Just destroy... That's good news. Just destroy the fighter. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna run out of bomb. I I'm gonna lose all my Landcasters doing this. Thank you. Okay. Now, I wanna try to take out whatever bomber or fighters are in this city level up so fast, and these things get eight hit points when they've leveled. should be it for occupied France's fighters. We'll keep moving more in, but we can take them out. Really? You missed a stationary tower with a 38 bombard?
Oh, I didn't use any to deal with those Germans. These guys. Um, we'll see. Hold on. Yeah, not all too far out of range. I wasn't even thinking about it. Okay, so we have a road right through to Vladivostok. I didn't know that, but it's kind of good to know. Um, I don't think I need much in the way of roads out here yet. I got a guy going over to clear that up. Dude, you guys just fall back here and then rest. First, all of you, out. Ah, you're still there. I think you might be able to reach that one before me, if they're fast. Okay, so I got him... What, five Valentines in here? Let's see. Okay, so you guys all just go pour in right down here. The sooner I take all these cities, the sooner I don't have to worry about defending them so heartily. Only got the one Matilda. Okay, wake up everyone here. The Gurkhas are more useful than the Anzacs. I can use the Anzacs as garrisons for the moment. You guys go up here. We can deal with that infantry afterwards. He's not really a threat right now. Okay, no new Valentine there. I'll wake up both of them and you. I can't believe I spaced on those German infantry. They're right there. I even saw them at the start of the turn. I was like, right. Gotta make sure to deal with them. Who all is in this group? Okay, I could use the... Oh, they have Anzacs too. Yeah, they've got enough to garrison stuff with. Now you head down here, because I might need you. Okay, the Japanese should not have any way to counterattack there. Next turn, we can take this. This. Um, that one's going to take a little longer, because we got a long way to go. 
hopefully this. If I can take both of these next turn, that'll put us in great shape. My army can get moving. I can hopefully all of these squares will actually be mine or Russia's, and I can kick China out. Okay, German infantry, not great news. Um, I'm gonna move you back one square because I forgot about them. Again, they, they can't really do anything dangerous. They're just sort of annoying. I need to remember to deal with them. Okay, go ahead and take Leon. Okay, it should be much more annoying now. Already moved all my Matildas out of there. I don't want to take them from that city, because I think we'll need them in that one. Yeah, go here. If we get good bombings next turn, we might be able to take both of those. Okay. I have a heavy cruiser and two battleships here. I'm not going to be able to amphibiously attack that because of the stupid French. I wish the Italians would just use their stuff to bomb the French and take that ship out and keep them from building anymore. Let's see here. Italy still doesn't have any ships, right? No, they got one fighter. They have the G50s, which I think are their actual fighters. I don't know why they built a standard fighter. Assuming that's a motorized infantry, they've only got the one marine, and I don't see any paratroopers. And then just a handful of tanks. So yeah, they really aren't a threat. Just sort of a nuisance. But if I can take them, that gives me more territory to work with. And it's not that hard to hold Italy. Um, most of their cities are pretty well spaced and have lots of hills. Like Rome, for example. A lot of planes here, but I think all of this is within Rome's territory, so getting through them is not easy. And the hills don't make it easy either. Taking these ones might be a little tricky. Palermo, we're going to have to land on the ground and then move out and attack it. I'm going to need some more troops to do that. We're building up a decent force here, though. It's not a whole lot yet, but it's getting there. I really need more over here. I got a Matilda here. I don't need... Who are you? Why are you here? In the world... I mean, I want to... Why are you blocking one of my roads? What do you gain by doing this? Still 16 turns on that thing. I don't think I got anything left to move over here. I could start landing with my paratroopers, that would be bold. Okay, so I don't... Yeah. Uh, we're not attacking the Germans. That... That's how we take Freiburg, right there. I need to get them off that square, though. I've got four Matildas here, so once they move, I might move two of them into that forest. Oh, sorry, no. Terrain info... Yes, that is forested, and it's a fortress. Okay, so... 
that gives us excellent defense. And then once we get through, that'll seal Russia off too, won't it? They'll have to go all the way around if they want to still keep keep coming through. Oh, but I can't because that thing is just going to move on to that square. Man, I hate you, Russia. I also have no idea if there is... Hold on. Okay, that's an Italian fortress, but it's got no road, so... Yeah, they can't just cross onto this and then right over. Yep, they got no free attacks. They'll probably hit this stack with this tank. And I don't know what Germany has built. Not Russia, Germany. Still only got the one Bismarck. Two Panzer H's. Only 188 left. They're they're losing 88s left and right, and they're not rebuilding them. Which is great news. 7109 Fs, they're gonna keep building more of those. Right, and then just various types of infantry. Okay, let's move our reinforcements in. I need to move that guy and rush another infantry. Yeah, they're they're definitely fighting Germans out there. Goodbye. He probably lost his last plane that was on that thing. The Germans do shoot them down pretty regularly. At least I made it past the northern line. I'll just hope all of his other roads aren't super clogged. America's not really going to fight Brazil, are they? They're just going to stand there and do nothing while Brazil wages war on Georgetown. Which should be big enough now to give me a decent defensive bonus. It's got a barracks in it. and I guess they do have battleships. They can try to bombard me. Of all the South, uh, South American nations to antagonize, though, why does it have to be the one with the largest fleet, army, and land mass? Couldn't you have chosen Colombia or Venezuela? Now, they're on my border, too, but they're harmless. So many infantry just running around. I like how I'm one turn away from getting C-1942, even though it's not even halfway through. It's almost halfway through 1941. We're trucking right along as far as techs are concerned. That should give us Lion class battleships. I think I'll have Cardiff produce a couple of those too. I shouldn't need many because I don't have any major fleets to contend with and we're not doing massive water movements pretty much ever, but it does give us an extra weapon to use against Bismarck's. Lion classes are more effective than King George V's. 
In fact, lion classes are strong enough, you could probably directly attack a Bismarck with one, and you would win. Because Bismarcks have like a 75 defense, which gives you a 25 higher attack. I still wouldn't like to do that if I could bomb them down a little bit than I would, but I wouldn't have to get them solo to be comfortable attacking. Yeah, they were picking up men at Manila. The Japanese won't be able to bomb your fleet away, but they have Yamatos, and I can't deal with all of them right now, so they're probably going to sink you. It'd be cool, though, if they could land some guys on the Japanese mainland. I'm not going to let you get very far. I even made extra roads for you people, but because you've been such tools with this whole Spain thing... You just don't get to reap the benefits of having a rite of passage with me anymore. Oh, that's ideal. I mean, I would like to have destroyed it, but if it's going out there to attack American ships, that gives us a free way to take the city without having to deal with its very, very annoying battleship taking up all of our bombs and shooting down our planes. Okay, so it did make it in. I'm gonna have to destroy it there, because I don't want that thing with that hit points. It'd be stupid not to jump on this opportunity and destroy it. And of course, you're going to hurt my Lancasters now. Hello. No, you guys exhausted your privileges, too. Italy's preparing for us to take that city. When I do go to war with Russia, uh, as long as all their tanks haven't emptied out of this place, I can bomb those roads on the mountains, and their tanks will be ineffective. They'll all be stuck down there. At least a lot of them will. And I can just leave that alone with a couple bombers to make sure the mountains don't get repaired. And then they'll be stuck. But I do want most of their army down there when we do that. Can you guys just take the city so I don't have to watch all of you move onto a hill that you can just easily move onto when the city's yours? I don't think I'm going to be able to use that square to take Freiburg either. Because the Russians are never going to not be here. There's going to be a giant mass that's constantly moving through. And that's the only square they can use, so it's the one they're going to keep using. I would like to just go to war and destroy them all, but I do not have enough units here to do that. Not while the Germans have this, the power they have right now. Just wait for them to randomly declare war on me and start attacking my cities. It'd be really bad if they did. They have guys right there that can attack the city, and they haven't moved any of them yet. They're just moving everyone else.
That's a Soviet Marine. Those guys are pretty strong. together a wall so that I can't reinforce the arm. That's what they've just done. If I ever needed to. I hate these guys. I need to just block them off. Let's put men on that road with the pig and the one with the, the cattle. I just not move. Tower. Yeah, so if I leave Gibraltar alive, Germany will not be able to produce even Panzers or planes or Bismarcks. All that thing we'll be able to build is just infantry, I think. But it will leave their minefields intact, which I think is preferable for me. So that's what I'm going to try to do. To take everything but that city. Yeah. Man, we got a lot of guys in there. So sad. I hate them. Spanish have been nothing but a nightmare as long as I've had to deal with them. Yeah, I think I'm going to take two uh, infantry and just put them on those squares. So their only choice is to go through the top. That should get them to clear that one out, hopefully. And then I can garrison that and take my people off of those two squares. got all their people out of Turkey. Still have not taken Istanbul. wonder if they will try again after they take Barcelona. I can't go to war with them if they take Barcelona, like, next turn, let's say, which I think they probably will. I still will not be able to... Like, they'll all turn around immediately and start leaving. I won't be able to bomb out the roads because I can't risk going to war at this stage with them, so... Then they probably will go take that last Turkish city. I certainly would. Cool. That gives us Lion classes. And Crusaders, which are one point better than Valentine's. Oh, that's Matilda. Yeah, one point better. I'm assuming they have Blitz, which would be super nice. Is that Comets? What is that? Oh, that's mobile artillery, that's right. What's this? 
fireflies? Yeah, I don't really need fireflies. Those are 2217, which is better, but oh, you gotta go through all the same stuff just to get there. That right, you need all of them. Okay, well this one gives us better spitfires. Yeah, take that one first, and then we'll get that, and then go for this. It'd be nice to get the better British infantry. Okay, so I'll just shift all Valentine production to Crusaders. Cool, build Lancasters. classes. Go for the offshore. Where's the count in here? Okay, so first, let's take these guys. Okay, they can all move very far. weird. It should go with my planes first, right? Is that a 3H? It is. really want to take Marseille. I should probably focus on two levels first, but if I hit Marseille with everything I've got, I think we can get it this turn. And it is a bigger deal. For one, it's the only German supply in the area. We take this, Gibraltar and two levels are both cut off. They can't rush these stupid panzers anymore. Or planes. Two, it locks that Bismarck into Gibraltar for its only harbor, unless it wants to come through the channel, which it's not going to do. Whoa, what in the world is that? Okay, right, don't, don't get ahead of yourselves. Take these guys out first. Pretty sure that's a bomber, but I have no idea what kind.
before I keep on bombarding, I'm curious. What is that thing? Oh, it's a paratrooper plane. He also built a second 88. Interesting. Paratrooper planes, I think, are like really, really wimpy bombers, but they can drop paratroopers really far. They're basically useless, but the computer gets them with a new tech, and so its default when it unlocks a new unit is to build a handful of it. So generally they will, even though they never get used. I've never built them, and I have no interest in using them. They might have one or two times where they're, they have like a niche use. It's not frequent enough for me to not build something actually good. Oh, come on. Make, make me waste another successful bombing to kill that thing. sort of defenses we can expect. Uh, it's probably at least as hefty as Strasbourg. It's probably more. This is a major city, and the computer, if it's at all intelligent, should prioritize the defensive imports and exports. That said, I don't see any elites in here. in there. He's only got three of these things, so two of them are right here. Notice that's not the top of the the half track that comes flying out when it explodes. That's the driver. I have never noticed that before, but that's funny. It's also kind of horrifying, but it's a funny animation. It's kind of like in the World War One scenario. I know there are flamethrowers, and when they die, their backpack just detonates, and they just immediately combust. And it's funny someone put in that much work just to get a proper combustion animation. I'm really trying to avoid looking at the Russians for the moment. They're taking a lot of unnecessary time. Just to see a bunch of reds run around in circles. Okay, I think this is the last infantry, and then it's just a panzer. No, must... Well, this guy's only got a 14 defense. Why would it not put a 19 defense tank on top of him? Even if they did only have one hit point. Oh, it's not fortified. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm keeping him from building up more of these things, and it looks like I caught him at the perfect time. If I hit him any later in the game, his 3Hs would be everywhere, and they're much worse than the 3Gs. Alright, well, let's hit two Laos with everything we got left. Tank will be pretty difficult. I think it's on a hill. Is this on a hill? No, this is planes. That's good news. Yeah, you guys just keep covering the air for a while. I need you guys to get really good bombing runs. I would love to take this thing this turn.
decoupling Cagliari. They might be able to finish off that Panzer if it's all that's left in here. Awesome. I don't really need to use him for it. Okay. I mean, I don't like just passing turns, but I don't have enough air power to press any more advantage. So we're going to get all of our Spitfires in the air. Hold on, are you the healthy one? Yeah, you stay here for now. We're going to mass together everything that we've got. sense. Yeah, let's just focus everything else in the city on the one in here. We might be able to kill it too. If my Spitfires can keep this up, the Lancasters will clean up what's left. He has those ones on the coast, I'll just have to move the Lancasters out. Because I've got like three of them in there. out of range. Yeah, we're moving you guys. This has an airport, right? Yeah. Um, take the wounded one and send him there. The other two, you can meet up here. Okay, they can't reach high enough there. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna try to take Seal. Once I've damaged this a bit, the rest of my aircraft is moving north.
Valentine should be able to handle what's left. Um, I think this place will let us cover all of Korea, just in general. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's kind of limiting, but it's something. Just gonna take this city real quick. Ah, there's Russian ships. Okay, now I can move the Spitfires. Okay, this is just another British infantry. I'm not gonna need extra garrisons in these cities here. Because the Matildas are not moving until we've gone to war with Russia. I could use one in here, though. Just fortify the city. And the rest of my spare guys can just pile into Korea. They can prepare to be part of our uh, mainland invasion force. I think both areas will give us the same speed, but this will lock down some more movement for him. Keep him from doing anything surprising. Oh yeah, I probably should go through, make sure anything else that's building Lancasters is not, or uh, Valentines is no longer building Valentines. I think all the ones in India have already produced this turn. We're building Valentines. Switch that over to Crusaders. Not Cruisers. I think that's it. You're building Spitfires. You're Matildas. Okay.
Okay, that's everything for this city. Finish up this last mine. Sorry about that, got a little busy during the auto move. Okay. Um, you know, I don't think I'll need people in Leon. I could just start moving all of them. I'll move them into Verdun. Fires. Deal with whatever other fighters might be in the area. Given that I, I don't think Hagliari's in any real danger at the moment.
Okay. Um, I don't even know what I was going to have these guys do. Well, let's just, yeah, I guess, widen that path for some reason. I don't know, my plans confuse me sometimes. infantry. Go over here. Okay. There's not a lot that needs to be done up here. But we could put roads and mines on a couple of things. Alright, so I woke that up already. So it should be ready to go next turn without me having to remember. Now let's see. rest of them are going to move up here. I haven't really had to worry about German counterattack, so I think my infantry are pretty secure. Yeah, I can put one here take that Matilda off and put him in Marseille. I should be able to take the Matilda out of Paris as well. Because they can't get to Paris, unless he dropped an, uh, what do you call a paratrooper. That guy could get to Paris. Good luck with that, though. Okay, this Matilda will be the one who moves on to this square, if the Russians clear off it. Which, if I'm right about their AI, they should. I didn't realize I already had infantry in Paris, either. Okay, you can get up and move. And this, he should be safe from any attacking as well. Like, the Germans could bomb him, but they can't really get him. I have three Matildas in here. That does seem like a little overkill. Then again, no. They could cross this, but it'll take them a while, and... The Germans can't use it. Oh, whoopsie. Germans can't use it because of uh, the fortress, so I should only need one Matilda here at most. So yeah, I'll put both of them here. Don't need the cruisers here. They'll go here. again. I think he worked better as bait. Okay, and then all of your Spitfires will just wake everyone. You can remain fortified. Because that they're still covered by the fighters that are defending this place, but I want them to be able to bomb these cities. Because this is where we're going to get ready to attack. I'm going to take my Valentines out. I'll leave a couple cruisers here and some infantry. Is that an SS? Slovakia infantry have zone of control. Wow. 
Well, you know, wait a minute, he's a slug. Well, he is in a fortress. So his defense is like double in there. I was gonna just attack him and kill him, but... No. I'm gonna take my infantry out of here as well. And yeah, I know I just moved him there, but then I had free Matildas to do it with. Okay, the Antwerp, Brussels, Waterdam... Well, water. Rotterdam. This whole area is very clustered. I think all five of these cities we're gonna have to, or six, we're gonna have to deal with pretty much at the same time. And I don't mean we're gonna take them all in one turn. I mean, we're, all of the fighting all the fighters here is going to be one big struggle. What? Oh, we've gotten that particular transport that's already moved. That is the annoying thing about those which transport are you getting in screens. You cannot tell what the heck is going on or who is in what. Okay, so that's an easy target for Russia, as is this, but I don't see them taking advantage of it. Um, I can hurry a barracks there, so I should do that. And these places all have airports, right? They don't get the airports now. I know Paris does. That one does. Okay. Okay, so that should help us seal off this Russian problem. Their only choice will be to go through there. But if they all just step off this for one turn, I can just put a couple of Matildas there and set the rest of these units free. And then, since that's a fortress, good luck dislodging them. Oh, whoops. Yeah, just keep doing that for this turn. Okay, nothing I can do about him. Look, don't I have a artillery? Man, you're all the way down there. Yeah, go up here. Might as well. I don't have much for these guys to do, but they might as well do something. Okay. Yeah, and they're all just fortified. Did I move all my Blackburns too? I did. Okay, so next turn... Hopefully, we can take both of these cities and knock them out. How many fighters does Japan have left? Because I, I don't know if they're really building them. Seven. Yeah, that's not a lot. I'm assuming most of those are in their mainland. If they're not, they're going to lose all the rest of their fighters very soon. Like coastal flotillas. Those things have a 30 attack. They're pretty gnarly. Super easy to kill. Very dangerous if they attack you. Okay, and I don't have anyone making valentines anymore, right? Easiest way to check is through this. The Crusaders, Matilda, Matildas. Cool. Convoy in four turns. That's pretty fast. So I really had nothing else to do. I feel like I'm missing something. I always feel like that, though. Generally, because I'm missing something. Oh, big turn next turn. We'll be able to land near Palermo, which is not going to be easy to take. I'm going to have to actually devote some real time and effort to taking them out. I intend to use those artillery, though. And I should probably start moving some more guys over. Yeah, more infantry. Why not? Not you, because you just got here. 
How about you? Okay. Uh, well, let's cross over to next turn. I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's funny they're not interested in attacking that city anymore. I have done my best to make it a little bit of a fortress. cool if the planes that are on those things actually sunk that Bismarck, but I don't see that happening. I think it's going to take them all out. Because they have nowhere to run and it can chase them all down. Because it's faster than everything. Yeah, moving through these roads is a nightmare. But actually getting that worker to his destination is going to take a while. At least he's not sending his strong tanks out in the middle of nowhere to die. I think they're going to a transport. So many people being sent into nowhere. Some of them are going to Alaska. I think he has a transport up there that he's loading. I have seen the Americans take those islands that are north of the the main Japanese island of Japan. Like there's two islands that are right up there. I, I, is there an actual name for it? So Japan is not just the island, right? It's the entire nation, which includes a bunch of the surrounding islands. It's like the whole archipelago, isn't it? So is there a name for just the one big island that most of their stuff is on? I'm not sure. I need to cut away my rite of passage with them. Once I finish this road, I'm 100% going to do it. Because this is pointless. Most of my workers are where they need to be already. These guys are clogging up every single road I've got. I 
guess I don't have to worry about someone landing and taking cities, though. Or, like, actually beating anything up here. Even if they tried to, the, the, this whole army would just come running and barrel over everything. These infantry are, I think, the best infantry in the game. And the tanks are some of the best. Like, the only tanks that are better than American ones are G German ones, and it's by a very thin margin, usually. I think the Shermans... Now, the Shermans aren't better than the current Panzers, but they're better than most of them. And they're pretty much equal, or really just, like, slightly below some of the other ones. As Britain... Britain never had good tanks. That was never their claim to fame. They had good ships, they had good planes. Not as good as American versions, but they had good both of those. And they were everywhere. But they never did have very good tanks. It was really just the way the British fought. I mean, they were... They had good strategists and people in charge. And their military doctrine was just very difficult to overcome for their enemies. That Frenchman has the right idea. He's going for the Frenchman. Oh, I see. Well, this complicates things. I'm killing that guy. Okay, are these all 3Hs? Newly built 3Hs? Or is this his Panzer army finally coming back? I think this is his army. His big one. Oh yeah, this is them. This is his, his people have returned. I've already taken France from you. I did take France, right? Yes, yes, okay. For a second I was panicking, thinking that I forgot to wake my units and take Marseille and, uh... Whatever the other one is. The smaller city. Okay, they, this is his massive army of 3Gs. But it looks like they do not want to attack Strasbourg with its current defenders when there are other targets. Alright, the Russians provide perfect clogging to keep him from doing much. Now, they're all gonna step back... But that does still give us a free turn, and I think he'll load all of these people into that one square that that one just went on. They have no fighter cover there. Once the Russians are cleared, which I'm assuming they're going to clear, they might just hold position there and wait until something moves. Or they might get in the way of further German movements, but their own version of the Maginot Line means they have a lot of free room to maneuver if they can just get near that thing. All those squares are theirs, and they all have roads. Okay, yeah, this... We're getting... We're, we're coming up on the battle that I have been waiting for. The big one. The one that decides how this battle... How this uh, war in Europe is really going to go. If I can draw them all out of the open, though... We can really... We can kill these things. Maybe not all of them in one turn, but enough of them that he's basically crippled. Yeah, we take those out. is gonna hurt. And I'm certainly gonna kill what's in that stack now. Makes sense. Jerk. Taking that city is going to get more difficult if I have to fight through the Yamatos with my bombers. But we'll do it. Worst case scenario, I have a lot of Valentines right there that will attack. That's funny. I don't even think I'm going to attack them. I'm just going to let them stand there. You can go ahead and attack Marseille if you want. Good luck with that. I think Marseille's on a hill, isn't it? No, maybe it isn't. I just took two moves to get there. Could be exactly where it's located. I'm assuming these Russians aren't going to stay in the way much longer anyway. Once they take Barcelona, they're going to have no motivation to keep going. They're 
hopefully all just going to turn around and leave. Because they still have Istanbul to deal with. They're still at war with that thing. They just see easier targets elsewhere. Yeah, there they go. Why are you going out that way? I didn't like when they moved on that hill in the first place. That worries me. If we go to war with Russia here, it'll get a lot worse before it gets any better. Because it, it'll peel away everything I've got going on with Japan. I mean, we've taken enough of the mainland that I should be able to kick them out of, uh, of Korea and Manchuria within a turn or two. So even if you go to war with Russia, I'm not going to have to just abandon that fight. We can beat them there, but uh, the Germans are right here, and I do not have enough people to withstand a, a Russian force of this size. I could just immediately start bombing all the roads. But a lot of them are already in our territory. Now, I'm thinking they're just moving onto that square because of the weird pathing. They want to use that free plane square in, all, in the middle of all that forest to move down twice. I'm really hoping that's what this is. I think that's a plane square. If it's not, those guys are getting ready to attack either Paris or Brest. Which means I probably need to move some Matildas around. does go to war with any of the allies, it's an instant declaration on all of us because of the fact that he is in all of our territory at once. Now suddenly I'm feeling very uneasy about everything. on those tanks is low enough that we can kill a lot of them in a very short span of time. It's these German panzers, though. Like, if I have to focus on killing these Russians, that puts us in a really awkward position. If I can deal with that giant stack of panzers before that happens, we should be okay, relatively speaking, even if we do go to war. But I don't like where this is headed. I was really hoping the Germans were just going to stay away for a long time. I've at least kicked them out of France completely. They've destroyed the Spanish. Okay. Are you leaving now? Oh, here they come. Yeah, I can't trap them in there. Uh, next turn, we'll see what they do. But they should all leave and go to Istanbul. Empire just constantly growing. They're the real enemy. Oh, I don't like that. Where are you going? Why? Either you guys are going to reinforce, like, there's a city that doesn't have a motorized rifle in it. Or they're getting ready to attack. Oh no. This is really not good. I have the distinct sinking feeling they're a hundred percent getting ready to invade us. 
This could just be residual movement. They had already planned all of this before they took Spain. So their guys are just finishing their movement. I will need next turn to find out. That might be too late. I'm going to have to pull the Matildas off of those two squares there. Because now that strategy no longer matters if the Russians are going to go to war with us. I'm going to need to reinforce the cities that are around with whatever I can get. Oh man, I don't like this. I need to check Paris and see how fast it can build infantry. Yes, why not? Lancaster's in nine turns. Man, this place does not produce very much. Spitfire's in four. Oh, right, Matilda's. There we go. Don't have a mass transit system. Okay, every three turns. Take a turn and do that. And then I might put it on infantry just so I can get more of them. Why did the Soviets have to go to war with the Spanish? It's so annoying. They should go to Istanbul. Like, that's the person they're at war with. But then again, they interrupted that war to go take Spain, which was really out of their way. It would absolutely be in character for them to carry on this rampage and attack us, too. It's probably what I would do if I were Russia. If I played this game the way that Russia's been playing it, I was just absorbing every small nation around me. First, I would have already taken all of uh, Norway. That would have been like my first target. Not first, but first after I took Sweden. We take out all of Norway. Communist China, right, easy go. I'd take them. And then Turkey, sure. Now, at that point, if I were willing to sign a rite of passage with Germany, I'd probably go through and take Greece and Yugoslavia. And then maybe uh, Switzerland. Just because I'm absorbing everything that's nearby. Spain would be probably the last minor nation. Other than, well, Portugal is real inconvenient. Thailand's out in the middle of nowhere and they're tiny anyway. I just take them for convenience. And, uh, and of course, then there's South American nations, which you only deal with if you're there. But I cannot think of a single reason... Uh, what can I not think of a single reason for? Right, for them to go to war with Spain, out in the middle of all of this, when they haven't even finished dealing with Turkey. What that does mean, though, if, if I was willing to do that, if I were them, and I that was my call, and all my people were in here, and I saw a bunch of exposed French cities with, you know, a decent number of, of forces around, like, those are my Lancasters. If they kill that one British infantry and took Paris, all of my Lancasters are in Europe are gone. So I definitely need to reinforce that.
And that means I need to take probably all three of these Matildas and put them on that one. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't do that this moment because I am out of time. And I really want to keep going. Oh yeah, we have that too. So if I go... I'm just going to try to... One, two, bombard. One, two... Yeah, no. Everyone's going to have to take cover in Malta for a moment. If he's going to hold that position, we're good. If he goes up to bombard Cagliari, he's going to hit this thing, so I should probably make sure that's moved. I'm hoping that once all my guys are under under cover, he'll just fall back to Gibraltar, and then we can continue this. I don't know. Dealing with Italy is going to be a nightmare because of these mountain infantry. They're really tough, and he's got a handful of them. I might be able to drop some people off in Palermo right now, though. And if he moves... Well, I'd have to wait at least one full turn before I actually try to send anything in there. But I could try to send my fleet around, and then we could assist in the bombarding of these places. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they could make it out of the French space. But he could just come back. Because this, it'll be exactly eight moves away, and there's no one else to try and sink him. Although I have a lot of Lancasters. Can you guys reach? No, you can't. So it would just be on these guys. Okay, this is all going to get very dramatic, but hopefully this turn. I definitely cannot take this. I'm going to need to hit this thing with Lancasters, definitely, before all of the Yamatos get inside, because they're going to next turn. And I might just have to hold off on taking that another turn. Blackburn should be able to wear down this city, and we can take it. And then Lancasters, I'll move some Gurkhas in closer. Lancasters will pummel this thing as much as they can. But if I can take it out, the Yamatos will be an annoyance, but not a real threat. And I can just focus on preparing in case we have to go to war with Russia. I'm going to need a turn to see what they do here in Europe. If they continue moving deeper, if that's going to be their plan, if they're not leaving and they are going to keep moving deeper, they will go to war next turn because they have enough stuff close to me and enough forces in my territory that they think it will work. And it will definitely hurt me, but it will not kill me. I will fight back, and this number of Lancasters will absolutely decimate these stacks, and then when the rest of them come pouring in, we'll kill all of them too. They'll be tripping over the Germans trying to get to Strasbourg, which probably means they'll have to go for these guys, and they're not close enough, so I'll just... we'll slaughter them all, is what we'll do. And it will take a little while, but once they're all dead, then I can probably, if we deal with all the Germans at the same time, all of their tanks, I can devote some resources to just clearing out all of this taking all of this stuff back, well, taking Spain in the first place, taking Gibraltar back, and then barreling all the way through and continuing up. And just, at that point, we're in the final stage of the war. I have enough units around. I don't have any Lancasters down here anymore, because I moved them out. But I don't think he has enough troops down here to be a massive threat, and Istanbul is still the perfect blockade, because he hasn't taken out anything in it. So... Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go, but things are looking like they're about to get real hairy real fast. Well, we'll figure all of it out next episode, because that's all for this one. So thank you all for watching, I'll see you in the next one.